Hello and welcome back there YouTube viewers, I'm Xnik streaming again. A new deck has been built around the Walking Ballista, it's a very powerful card with lots of flexibility and I think you are going to be seeing this one in many different decks, but this one is going to be focusing on putting lots of counter plus one plus one counters on the Walking Ballista, there are several means to do so, we can pay the X when we cast the Ballista to pay, put the counters, we can pay later pay 4 counters over to gain more counters on the on it and then when we remove a plus 1 plus 1 counter we can deal 1 damage to target creature or player so the deck revolves around building a very big Ballista so other um, Early drops are Obia Pages Shiri, since we want also to have as many creatures as possible, but uh, with spending too many cards or uh, mana, so she can provide us with late game advantage. Uh, Narm uh, Narnum Renegade, a new elf warrior, has death touch for one mana, is pretty relevant. Uh, so it's very good at defense, at, it can even gain a plus one plus one counter if we have revolt uh, going on. Then Implement of Ferocity, artifact for one, we can pay one green to sacrifice the implement, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature, so we can use this to make our Ballista grow, and we also get to draw a card when this goes to the graveyard. Scrunching Bandar. It enters with two, it's a zero zero for two mana, but it enters with two plus one plus one counters, so it's essentially a two two for two. But it has the ability to move the counters of this guy to other target, so it's pretty versatile in our deck. Then, Winding construct, Constructor, we are splashing black to just to have this powerful snake, so there's also some other black spells, but this is the main reason. So, whenever we are about to put a counter on our creatures or artifacts, we put an additional one. So, it's pretty impressive how uh, this is very powerful in the counters deck. Um, so this is another guy that you are going to be see, seeing all over the place. Then durable handicraft. So when we cast, a, when a creature enters the battlefield, we get to pay one arbitrary mana to put a plus one plus one counter. And if we can afford it, we can pay five, five, no, five generic and one green to put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Then, since we are already splashing black, we have one copy of Subtle Strike. I don't know, uh, it's a nice spell in this deck, but there's not much room, but anyways, we have this one. We can maybe kill something interesting with the effect, and it's a combat trick with black, so can take some players by surprise. Hungry Garrison, uh, for the sake of having lots of tokens and a very powerful attacker that prompts the opponent to spend cards and resources to remove and can become the Hunger Rhythm, the Rhythm Township. I don't particularly feel that we are going to need this one, but it's nice to have the option. Maybe we need this one to show up. Nisa in any green deck is going to be very good, giving us a choo-choo creature that gets to search for a forest and also can become Nisa Sage Animist that keeps drawing more cards from the library and yeah, pretty powerful since we want as many cards as uh, all the time as we can get. Scrap Troller, very interesting in the deck since whenever this dies or another artifact is put in the graveyard from the battlefield then we can return another target artifact card that has to cost less, but since the walking ballista has X, X double X as in the cost, it means that any other artifact can bring it back from the graveyards as long as it costs more than zero. Then we have Retreat to Kesendu, so it has Longfall and we can choose to put 
uh, plus one plus one counter on target creature or gain life. Maybe we need the life gain in this deck. I haven't tried this one yet out, so hopefully we can uh, have a nice pre first game with this. It's a pilgrimage for ramping. We get to play more forest. Uh, this other Nisa is great for the counters aspect. We can put a plus one plus one counter right away when we cast uh, this one. Other than that, we can start making our board grow put using this one to put tokens. And it runs very well with the Durable Handicraft uh, enchantment. But, well, since we are not running that many copies of those, well, I don't know if we are going to see that. Then Armor, Armor Craft Judge can draw us a card for every creature that currently uses a plus one plus one counter. Therefore, we can refill our hand. Then Mina and then, um, for the sake of playing additional lands in this deck, I think it's just great. Also, <coughs> we can give Trample to some creature, so I think it's fine. And also, later, we might be using Mortuary Mire for other purposes, so we can maybe want to use Mortuary Mire multiple times. Then we have Life Crafter Gift, a 4 mana instant that puts a plus one plus one counter on target creature and then puts a plus one plus one counter on each creature with a that already has a plus one plus one counter. So best case scenario we have a full board filled with many creatures that already have the counter on them and especially I hope this is not a very dreadful dream casting that one on the mirror ring dragon should be very impressive so let's hope we get to see that then finally necromantic summons can bring something back from the graveyard and it's going to show up with additional counters if we have spell mastery enabled and panel bridge for six we get this nice artifact that uh, lets us search our library for a permanent and put a strike on the battlefield then shuffle the library so there are missing some important counters cards in this deck but since uh, i want to have the mirror wind dragon and life crafter gift combo plus the winding constrictor so i had to splash uh, red and black here therefore this deck is not particularly looking for making too much tokens and too much counters instead we just want to make the walking ballista as large as possible so let's hope this works um, paper looks nice let's try it on the field and see if we can survive so the thing that we don't have in this deck is many control elements aside from the own walking ballista there's not much else going on here so we have to make do with that let's hope we can pilot this to the victory i imagine our ideal starting hand will have um, some ramp cards and draw spells okay a single land here not very cute we could go with the implement of ferocity but it's too risky still too risky please give me all oh, right not ideal but we already are on six let's go get a black land hmm. uh, Pause it. Uh, yeah, maybe I should not use that, but um, yeah. maybe I should have kept the evolving wilds around. But we still get a land despite having used the evolving wilds, and there's not much else that we can do with our hand than other than playing Nisa opponent already ramping with the druid of the cull it stops for giving 
a mana for the, to the opponent. Mm, let's play Nissa right away. So if the opponent has removal, so be it. But we are filtering our library and making sure we have hit our lands drops. So maybe. Oh no! Forget it. Uh, that one is very hard to pass. Uh, yeah, this is a very good Hydra. We have the Ballista. Mm -hmm. We could. Uh, we don't have more lands going on. Uh, our options are playing the Scrap Troller, but if the opponent kills the Scrap Troller, there's nothing much that we can gain from that. We can play the Ballista for just one counter and save mana for the Subtle Strike. Uh, okay, let's do that. Just one. Alright. We skip the attack. Well, we could force the opponent to spend the energy at this point, but it's actually more problematic for us to do so. Let uh, we had to try trade Nisa, and well, yeah, that's not a good move, I presume. So uh, we could shrink this. Mm. Well, let's see what happens. Well, Nisa is going to die anyways, so let's choose both. Put the counter over the walking ballista and shrink. No, cancel. Cancel. I'm doing it. Okay, so let's try it. Right. Primal Bellow. Right, I messed up. Uh, yeah, but anyways, we still were not going to be able to kill the rest blastling Hydra. So not the end of the world there. This is a good one to play here. But the opponent going for mono green probably has lots of ramp fetching spells that are going to make Tarot Striker grow larger. So we can sacrifice this crunching bander to make our ballista more powerful. We skip the blocking here. So opponent probably saving pump up spells there. Yes. All the counters to the ballista. Well we can draw one card. And since we don't have nothing better to do, I think that's a good option for the time being. Moving wilds, well at the very least we can go searching a mountain maybe. Then the opponent has four mana open. I think we tried to kill the tireless tracker there. One and two. Well, Terror Tracker has died. That's good. Skip the attack. Now we can. Maybe. Okay, what's going to happen here? 
This one deals the damage to our guy and gains trample. Hmm. Not the best of uh, the things to do here. To happen to us. Uh, skip the blocking. I think we are going to necromantic summon this crunching banter. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Other plates playing Primal Bridge, but we cannot activate it. Scrap Troller could block one turn, then we can bring nothing back else. So now let's. Uh, well, it's kind of a waste to have Nisa, but it's going to buy us some time. She becomes Plains Walker right away. Away when we play the forest. Mm, okay. So I'm messing up a little bit, but we have to try to stay alive on oh, here. Here we are jump block in this. Um, let's hope the opponent has not a trample pump up spell to finish us. Right, apparently the opponent is having mana issues there. Let's see if we can find something that we can use. Okay, Obia is nice. We can play her. And scrap troller too. Now the opponent has to worry about our Nisa, but it's not going to be easy to kill with two blockers out there. Alright. There we go, we bring back the Ballista, of course. Nisa's pilgrimage, so the opponent has tapped out and we can finally kill the Hydra, but something worse might show up next. Mm. Uh, this is cool, let's first see what we find. Yes, very good. So this is going to work out very nicely here. So let's play this one first. We can. Well, we are not going to save mana for Ovia yet. So let's cast this for, well, two. That's correct. We gain an additional counter thanks to the Winder Constrictor, and now we do this. We get a card draw and two counters on the Walking Ballista. And now we proceed to kill this. Uh, hopefully the opponent has not another one mana pump up to save this guy. So, some time ago we were able to right click on the cards and activate the abilities from there but that option has gone okay mm, attacking is not going to do us much good but now the opponent has not been playing any cards from the last turns and now he's going to have six mana that's pretty scary <laughs> all right here comes this frightening monster we can create powerful blockers 
Uh, let's first see what is our next card over here. This is a very good one. Okay, let's play this. Move on. We're going to need to skip the attack. Continue. And I think that once again we have to let go our Ballista to save Nisa. But I think that we do it anyways. There's another walking Ballista inside the deck. Ouch! This Hydra is going to become a 14-14. Eleven, eleven, thirteen, thirteen. We are about to die here. Let's make a powerful blocker. Four, four. That means we can maybe survive here with one life point, but this is going to kill us next turn unless we can find an answer but it's not looking like it I could try to use the bottom guards before activating our Nisa we can attack with the garrison that gives us two more creatures so next one is going to be more relevant for us but I think we we might need the mana from the Bulbing Wilds, uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to matter too much if we use the Bulbing Wilds first. Implement of Ferocity. Let's... Okay. Let's do this one. Let's uh, put the counter over this guy. The two counters that is and the binder so this provides us with a two more creatures so I think we attack with this anyways we are missing a five blocker but we get a better blocker from Ovilla. Anyways, we still die to that either the opponent can most likely he can make it larger with more ramping spells. So I don't think we are going to beat the, this impressive Hydra. Okay. There we, we go. So, good, well played, sir. Well played. So, despite having been locked out from the game at the first, with mana screw, the opponent manages to put us against the ropes. Ballista did a nice job, but wasn't good enough. Maybe if we had put all into the face. Okay, let's try again. Mm. So, do you think we don't have a uh, nice removal spells in this deck? Um, black has a lot of options there. Maybe we need to use more controlled cards in order to buy us some time to make our ballista larger. After all, if we want to win with the Ballista, we need at least 10 counters on it. No green means that we can't cast all of those nice cards. Well, not ideal, but we are going to keep it. And play this despite that fact 
Um, if we draw a forest, then this Narnam Renegade enters with a plus one plus one counter, and that's going to be great for us. But we have to find a forest here. Other than that, we drop the battlements and the implement of ferocity. Good! This is great. Let's do this. Let's get the a swamp. Yes. And the renegade. Very good. Walking Ballista can be cast paying no mana, but we don't want to do that. It's a nice way to activate Revolt, but if you want to get rid of your Ballista for to get Revolt, you can cast it by using no mana. So, mm, so here the opponent is bl maybe bluffing, he wants the token out of this one, but we are going to uh, start clearing the path for more pressing matters. We can kill the token with the Ballista. Is it possible to do that? Mm. without killing our Ballista, that is. Maybe it's not possible. So let's just... Hold this back on defense. This one can become really large. But yeah, let's attack this turn and then we are going to hold this one on defense. Then. We are now going to put these two out. What? Well... Okay, I imagine so. Okay, the handcraft... Plus the implement. So... If this one is around next turn, we can kill it with the walking ballista and have the ballista stay alive. Alright, colorless. Hmm, so this is uh, looking more problematic than before. The opponent might have access to a lot of exiling spells that we don't want to see. We are going to also get. We might be drawing two more cards. Okay. Let's. If I play the mountains, then the ballista enters. Well, can enter with an additional counter. But if I don't, then I can. Well, I can also give haste to the Ballista, but that's not important at this moment. Let's... Uh, yeah, that's the proper way. Pay one. Let's see if the opponent has something to save the Eldrassi Scion. He does not. Let's develop our land. Now we stay on defense, or yeah, I imagine that we have to stay on defense now since these guys can grow quite large. Let's get a mountain out. Just in case we find the mirror wind dragon, we want double green. Another so if the opponent is holding some yeah I know he probably has uh, the fork in the road no uh, the, uh, what is that two mana sorcery that finds a uh, land and 
puts it on the battlefield if the opponent controls a well, well you know what uh, so it can make all of them a 3-3 three, three attacking us yeah so so what do we do here we can draw two and put a counter on him that seems fine we still can't afford to give it that one haste this to give the pay do we draw three or two whoa that's nice we have now we don't have to worry about the lands so moving through we skip the attack this one can block if the opponent has a single land we can block this otherwise we might be trading right opponent also runs black all three threes we might use the sacrifice of the hundred craft but without the snake and play is not that valuable to do it so i think we next turn we want to draw let's see what is the target here okay one mana the opponent has to kill either way we would have been blocking those so the opponent has used up one of these and this attack tells us that the opponent runs some pump up spell let's see well size five five we might want to kill this one but no land density this is going to shrink it's a two two and we can more easily kill it with all of this and all right we can play this and give it haste and give it a plus one counter so we are going to do it yes pay one be careful uh, we want to tap our green mana to do it then we give that one haste and we are going to be attacking with everybody well we can't afford to pay the, man the counters for all of them but still is decent So now I think that the opponent cannot exile our walking ballista because we can get to kill it before the exile spell resolves. And now probably the opponent wants to save blockers for our hunger garrison. This one has ingest and that's problematic for us. More dry mire. We can fetch the renegade back. That's not looking that bad. But we are short on green lands, so let's cast first we cast Nisa's pilgrimage. Let's drop this. Uh, well, yeah, kind of messy here. Let's activate this one. OK, 
Okay. Let's see what the opponent does against this one attack. And pay. Yeah, yeah, that should be good. Well, let's pay the coreless. Uh, that's, not, that's not my terror really, but the opponent does not know. So the opponent decides to let it pass and it's a 3. So if we had another green, we could kill the opponent with the walking ballista. Mm, without waiting any more so very interesting turn of events here but we don't want this one hitting our face so my plan is to block one of these snap ring nagrids and kill this other one mm. But the opponent, if the opponent has pump, pump up, we still die. All right. Alters reap. All right. So, but why? It's a good idea to do that before doing anything else. So here, the opponent left the game. So just in case, imagine that the opponent has fog in hand. We don't need to attack in order to win here. We just use the mortuary mire, recover the walking ballista. We draw additional card. We are going to put the counter over this just because and we play the ballista for just two or three actually we can do it for three we can give the ballista haste if we want to but there's no need another counter for the dear ballista and now we hit the opponent for the remaining damage and that should be it Woo! powerful combination indeed but we still haven't seen the mirror wind dragon but that will wait for next video so for this time that's going to be it i hope you have enjoyed it if you have any idea any uh, if you have any idea just let me know in the comments and i kindly try any crazy deck that you might want to try until next time sayonara